It's back, baby. I can't believe you're happy about this. Even on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, we can still do a keto camping fear factor. We've got ground beef, quail eggs, and pork liver pate. Ugh. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we get into a zombie apocalypse food source, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, I really thought this series was gone. I didn't realize we still had some stuff left. We do. If you're new to our channel, welcome to Keto Camping Fear Factor. I wanna say this is like episode 11 or episode 12. I don't know, we haven't done it in a while, thankfully. <laughs> um, if you're new to our channel, here's what this is. Um, Dr. Barry inspired us a long time ago that, hey, you can do keto on hot dogs and mustard and spam and you do whatever you can do. So as RVers, we were like, well, what could you do if you were on the road RVing? What if there was a zombie apocalypse and you can only get some canned preserved food? What could we eat? Yeah. So people started sending us stuff like bacon and squid and sardines spiders. and spiders. So we have a link down below. And if we get a bunch of different things on a camping trip, we do Fear Factor and we try them. They have to be shelf stable though. Yes. So here's what we have today. French pork liver pate. Yikes. Canned quail eggs in a brine sauce. Eggs count. And ground beef. Now can't. sometimes we find something we actually love. Not often. But we found the canned bacon. That was fantastic. Yep. There was a canned French cheese and a butter that was delicious. Yeah, that was pretty good too. That was really good. So sometimes you find a gem even in the midst of Are you ready? Let's just get this, this over with. Yes. Oh, you're going right for Start the Start off with a pate. Ew. I thought we were gonna ease into that. Oh, don't you love when it makes the shape of the lid still? Does it smell? I probably need to. It not, smells like oh, cat food. Oh, it smells like cat food so bad. I've got flip the flask right here. There we go. Ready? Got to dink it. Dink. Oh. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh. It's like ground up Vienna sausage. It's a little bit like liverwurst. Oh, blah, blah. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was just as bad as I thought it was going to be. But would you eat it in a zombie apocalypse before you ate salt. meat? It needs salt. It needs salt and it needs something to mask the flavor. But like... It tastes a little bit like liverwurst. It's not great, but I would eat it before I ate a family member. I haven't, I haven't made that decision yet. <laughs> <laughs> the jury is still out. Depends on the family member. <laughs> okay. So this one has been put off several times because we didn't have a can opener, but somebody remembered to bring a can I actually opener. remembered the can opener. Okay. Canned quail eggs. Let me take off the first layer of yuck. All right. Aw, they're little tiny baby quail eggs. There we go. Wow. That's for you. You gonna dink it? Now these aren't um, put into anything vinegary. Usually you get preserved. Quail eggs, water, salt, citric acid, tetrasodium phosphate as a firming agent. Yeah. Oh, Why does it firm. need a firming? They're firm. They're like a bouncy ball. They are like a oh bouncy ball. Oh my gosh, ball. I feel like you're gonna bite into this. Okay. Ew. Uh, oh, it's creamy in the middle. You gotta dink it though. It looks like a Cadbury cream egg. Ew. Dink. Oh. Wow. It's not bad. The inside is nice and creamy. The outside is a little bit strange. What is that? It's like rubber. 
it's very um it's very hard there is a lot of yolk in that little tiny thing seriously um uh that ugh. is strange i gotta go in again oh have at it you can eat the whole can ugh. there is a lot of yolk oh oh i know what it is the outside white tastes like water chestnut i don't know why but it does Oh. I would eat these again. Our thing is broken. Oh. Uh-uh. It's still working. Would you eat these? No, I would not eat. Those are disgusting. You would not eat this in a, in a zombie apocalypse? I need to run from you? Probably. I would eat these. I can't deal with it. Oh. Oh. Oh, that looks so appetizing. Oh. <laughs> so all the fat is. It's just on top. Okay. I have a feeling this is designed for putting on to like a blackstone or something and and frying it up, making it warm. Talk about dog food. It look. really looks like dog food. That fat is like all at the top. <laughs> Ew, it almost looks like like it's got tomato sauce in it, but it doesn't. Hold the plate up. Ew. Hold the plate up because they all want to see this. Ew, ew. Oh wow. Oh my oh, gosh. That's only half of that. Oh gosh. That absolutely looks like Alpo. Now I can see on the back they're saying use this for tacos. Oh. Wow. At least it stores uh, well. Oh wait, wait, wait. Got to get the Why does it all it, I guess it is already cooked, isn't Look it? Look at that. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Where's my fork? Do oh, I think. Want some? Ew. I think you have my fork over there. Oh, you can. Or oh, you got all the fat on it. I gotta take this one out. Ugh. You always like the fat. Ugh. I don't know if I want it congealed. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was trying to sneak in a little one. Dink it. Dink. Here we go. Wow. It tastes like dog food. Like the lowest grade beef you could ever. Maybe a lot of salt and heating it up. Probably heating it up would help a lot. And salt would, would be a, a bestie of this thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's the thing. It tastes kind of like the pork pate. It does. I don't know if you could tell the difference. I don't know. In a blind taste test. Why? It does. It doesn't. It tastes like meat, but it's very difficult to, to <sighs> taste like that. It tastes like beef. beef. Like you okay. can't distinguish it. Ugh. 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 None of these were a winner. None of these were winners. Well, I, I think that the, the quail eggs was pretty good. You can have them. You get to eat them all. But That's your lunch today. I actually was preparing myself to be pleasantly surprised by this. I thought, wow, we're going to have this as like a ground beef option, but no. 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 Wow. Fish bait. At least we're at the beach. Ugh. Okay. That's going to be this week's episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. Depending on if we find any new items. We'll continue this series as yeah. we continue camping. We've got a camping trip coming up after Thanksgiving. Uh, let us know down in the comments section if you've tried any of these. Ugh. If there's any other weird things out there. We've done a bunch of them. Have Check we out tasted the everything weird? There's got to so. be more out there. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other keto camping fear factors. I'll put them right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something like this, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.